I have a question because sure. I feel a lot of pain. Like the next day, I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> so I don't know what, what I can drink because I remember uh, Genesis. Mm -hmm. He told me that the glutamine is good mm -hmm. for the muscle recovery. But I'm not sure if there's anything else I can drink. Like. Well, glutamine can work for muscle recovery in terms of how much you'd probably need in order to hit that amount. It's relatively significant. I mean, luckily we work at a we work at a supplement store so that we can get it in larger quantities for lower prices, which makes it easier on us. Um, but in terms of just generally trying to help facilitate recovery, there are two things, two ways I would attack this. The first one is definitely nutrition based for sure. So we'll get into that when we start talking about how eating has gone, been going over the past like two weeks or so. Um, but the second one might just come from us managing the load of this, of this a little bit better. So, um, in terms of the exercises when you're doing them, were you approaching them differently than the leg work? Or like, were you doing like 12, 13, 14, 15, or were you like constantly trying to increase the weight throughout the exercise? How did, tell me a bit how you approach the upper body days. I don't understand. Again. So like uh, <laughs> when you were doing the upper body days, were you, uh, were you really pushing yourself super hard? Like, was it super difficult? Where, what were you, what was your general way of going through the, the, the upper body? I day? think. I think it's normal, but I think it's hard for me because as I mentioned, I don't like to do upper body. So before I usually like skip those days, like I go and just do cardio or something else. So I think that's why right now it's challenging for me, but probably in, I don't know, two weeks or something like that, if I'm like going every every day and doing my upper body then it's gonna be fine okay because well, the same happens with my legs but i think it's because it's a new way of like a new routine it's a new method so it's until my my body like you know mm -hmm. okay i, I don't um, know how to say that no, I, I get what you're saying. The idea, like, this is a very fresh thing for you. And so your body does, yeah. hasn't really, it's not really accustomed to a lot of what's happening accustomed. right now. Yeah. Um, okay. Well then, I mean, first and foremost, try to fill in when you can uh, the weights in here, because uh, I could make suggestions on things like, um, but I'll make a vague suggestion right now, just sort of like a general one for the upper body uh, approach. Scale back on the weight just a little bit. Uh, I think what might be happening here is you're not really achieving progressive overload. You're just at full scale overload because like you said your body's not used to it and so uh when it comes to approaching a workout and challenging yourself through the workout um it's oftentimes done with a lot of people who aren't as experienced or who maybe are just a little less careful about their programming where they put too much work in and then end up too damaged and feeling too sore for too long so they can't really put in an appropriate amount of work for the next time they have to do it because their body is still struggling super hard to heal them right uh, this may be the case of what's going on here so it might be wise to give your body the chance to accustom, get accustomed to things by slowly progressing it, right? So uh, pull back. So say as an example, let me pull the program here. Say as an example for the flat chest press, you were doing 15 pounds per hand if you're doing for, for your dumbbells so 15 pound dumbbells per hand 12 reps and that was leading to like really a, a large amount of soreness my suggestion would be scale back to like maybe tens or maybe even like lower if it was like the seven and a halfs or something but like tens that would probably be a decent number it's tens give or take two and a half pounds but probably the tens that would be my guess if you're at 15 so scale back to the tens and do those for the three sets now again you might during the exercise kind of feel like oh this isn't you know this isn't so hard this doesn't feel like i'm doing much of anything but it's important to remember two things one the other weight got you feeling real sore so best to work our way up to that and two um, you're going to want to wait until you've gone through the entirety of the three sets before you really make a judgment. And then from there, if you're like, okay, this week I did tens and that was a little easy. And even like days after, I'm not really sore. I'm feeling pretty good. Now we have the room. We know we have the room to progressively overload you to progress a little further. So we can go from tens to 12 and a halfs. 
and then 12 and a half to 15s. I don't know if your gym has 12 and a half and 15. But the oh. point is, if it if it doesn't, then we can you can use the methodology we discussed last time where it's like uh, for the tens, you do an extra couple of repetitions. And then once you feel like you can handle those really easily, scale back the reps, bump up the weight, right? Um, but yeah, point is, wait till you know that your body can handle it before you bump up instead of jumping the gun and then overexerting yourself and ending up feeling like really sore and like really beaten up right um that would be my suggestion on that end because i think it would help in terms of not only in terms of long-term um progress because when you have that sort of really gradual approach to it you're going to find that you have fewer days where you feel super beat up and as a result you're able to put in more for the next workout because you're not still feeling sore from the last one uh, and that allows you to put in more which then leads to you being like okay cool I've, i was able to heal from the last one and then put a little bit more work in for this one but not so much that i'm over exerting myself again which means i'll be good for the next one allowing me to put in more work again and it's like a layering effect right you're constantly layering days of feeling good and being fully repaired which allows you to push further and it's stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks and allows you to go a lot higher whereas if you say do one day where you go really high and you're really burnt out and like you just feel super sore for like over a week then the next week instead of being able to like stack on again you're like okay like uh, maybe i'll just do the same or like put a little bit in and then like you're still kind of beaten up because it's still a little bit beyond you're like okay i'm feeling a little bit better but like you know just be safe here so like where you end up here or after three weeks of like pushing super hard because you were like trying to go gung-ho and be really sore if you were to approach it slowly but surely and stack it you'd be much higher because you'd be able to keep putting on more weight and keep feeling good and keep healing after each workout allowing for you to progress faster uh so yeah um basic idea here being give yourself the room to progress and be okay with the idea that maybe you'll be just at the edge of challenging yourself and maybe even like just a maybe even just a little under if that's okay and that's okay when you're starting out because you're trying to figure out what is best for you right and where you sit on the scale and like where you sit in terms of weight ranges and then once you kind of figure that out you could really like dial in and start playing with numbers more and being a little bit more aggressive without going over the top because you know exactly where the limit is so like you can get right close to it without going over which allows you to see a lot of like maximal returns from the lifting and still heal fully for the next session which will then continually open up how much more you can do so yeah uh my my suggestion here scale back a little bit just pull her back a little bit on the weight for the uh, for the upper body days and let your body get used to not only the programming but also the the frequency and and the weight as well uh and slowly work your way up we got time this is by no means like it's not a this is not about you know the quick and, the, and, and and hardcore. It's about slow, steady, progressive. It's chip, 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 chip away at it. And next thing you know, you've managed to like crumble a mountain because it's just consistent work done by constantly trying to hit exactly what you need to hit, right? Um, so, uh, but the second, as I said, the second piece of that would be nutrition. So let's use that as a natural segue into talking about how eating has gone. How has the eating been going over the past two weeks or so now? 